Neil here from Jogga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to do a review on the best leather gun belt I've ever had. So let's get started. Here we have the Alien Gear leather gun belt. So let's take a look at some of the specifications on this guy. First, uh, what makes this belt so incredibly strong is that uh, there's actually a spring steel core that runs in here and then that's sandwiched between two seven ounce layers of leather. So these, uh, as, as I said in earlier videos when it comes to belts, if you can take the ends and squeeze them together, uh, those are not going to work. Clearly, there is no chance that you're going to squeeze this leather belt together with that steel core in there. So the belt comes in two colors, brown and black. One of the things that's uh, impressive other than what I just mentioned is that the stitching here is actually military grade polyester thread. So all, they really took a lot of time and attention to make this extremely high quality. In addition to that, the actual metal buckles here, this is nickel plated, so it's very, very strong, very resistant to any type of uh, wear. And as you can see here, extremely thick leather. Uh, Alien Gear calls this English bridal leather. I'm no leather expert, but I can tell you that this is uh, some good quality stuff. In addition to that, they have a triple edge finishing. Again, I really don't know what it is, but I can tell you that uh, from other belts that I've seen on the market, the edges and the quality and the craftsmanship of this belt is amazing. They really did a great job on this, especially for the uh, price point, which we're going to talk about in just a minute. In my opinion, one of the areas that's really gained success for Alien Gear is that all their products are adjustable, customizable, and uh, user-friendly. They give you all the parts and components that come with most of their holsters, every nut and screw. Um, they allow you to set up any way you like, and they really carry that through with the belt line, which was surprising to me because, I, in my opinion at first, I didn't think a belt could really be changed or customized that well, but uh, this one does do that. And so let's take a look how that actually works. When you get your Alien Gear a belt, you get this little uh, Alien Head guy in here in this label, and what this says in the back is just that the um, Leather belt can be cleaned every six months with leather and, and leather conditioner, but it comes with a seven day test drive. So if you don't like the fit of it or you measured incorrectly or you just don't like the belt, you can send it back in seven days and it comes with a, a one year warranty. Now, what threw me off at first is that Alien Gear actually sent this loop in here. And at first I, I couldn't figure out why would they, why they did this. So let's take a look at this. These two heavy, uh, bolt looking things are actually snaps and so the way the belt is designed pretty ingeniously I think is that you can undo these snaps and actually remove this whole buckle so if you wanted to change this out or this ever broke or got damaged in any way you can actually slip that other piece that they sent you because they send you the one that's on the belt plus a spare um, so that you can repair fix or customize this belt and uh, obviously if anything ever happens this buckle I'm sure at probably some point they'll even come out with different colors possibly, who knows, but a uh, really cool feature right here. And then on the back side here, once it's uh, snapped back together, I'm sure the camera doesn't pick it up, but it doesn't really matter. There's the uh, Alien Gear logo that's embroidered here in Made in America, and then of course the sizes for the belt and uh, your actual waist size. There you have uh, the setup that I carry and one that I highly recommend for everyone, uh, the nice Alien Gear leather belt along with whatever holster option you choose. This is a 2.0, but they also have a 3.0. Uh, but you really can't go wrong with any of the holster options that they have. And then of course, as I said in other videos uh, for the Alien Gear or any holster, I always replace them for these snap loops. Uh, they're a much better option regardless of who makes the holster. So as of this uh, filming, which is April 2016, I paid $59.88, which is the retail value on it, which I think is absolutely incredible. When you take one of their holsters and that belt, you're talking roughly a hundred bucks and you have a carry system that will last for a long, long time. Super high quality and excellent price point. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this Alien Gear review. Give you a little direction on what type of gear to buy. Highly recommend the Alien Gear and go out and get yourself one. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, but don't fight. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by six.